we got to speak with Merrill Hodge and he shared his memories about the late Sam Mills. Who dat everybody, St. John Butler here and today we're gonna to be talking about this guy again, the now Hall of Fame Sam Mills. We got to speak with Merrill Hodge, a former opponent turned friend, uh, they both uh, suffered from cancer. Uh, thankfully, uh, Merle Hodge survived. But um, he shares his memories not only of Sam as a competitor and as a player on the field, but some of the things that he knows that Sam went through, obviously going through a similar situation himself. I'll, uh, I'll stop talking. Let's dive right into the content. Well, let me tell you, Sam and I went over, um, we went over to Europe on a couple trips for the NFL. Um, and that's when I got to know him. I'd already played against Sam, and playing against him and then meeting him was com completely the contrary. Um, he was, he's a very soft spoken, mild mannered, respectful, genuine guy. But he's fierce on a football field. I mean, he just, I mean, he's like a load of dynamite. I remember we, we got ready to play them and in fact, it ended up being, this is where I ended up getting the term a fist fight at the 50. I mean, it was like, I mean, I think we just stayed at the 50-yard line and went back and forth, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Then we went there to play him. And just, uh, and he's one of those players, and everybody has to have some, some level of um, intellect to play in the NFL for a long period of time. You just, if you don't have some intelligence and work at your craft and are smart at your craft, you just get exposed. And that, that level is just too complicated and it's too sophisticated. And he was a student of the game, but he was a he was a he was a ball of dynamite when he hit, man. And then he replayed the game the way it's supposed to be played, the right way, um, with techniques that he played in, I used his feet, hips, and hands. You know, everybody always talks about his size. I mean, but honestly, you know, people forget, the NFL is not like the NBA. We're not trying to play up around the rim. Okay? We want to play below the rim. <laughs> and we want to play with leverage. It ain't about the fact guys that know how to play the game, I think, that aren't, um, that are his size and play the great leverage. Shit, I mean, Size is irrelevant if you play with great leverage and technique, you know, especially in his position. And you're smart as he was. But I just, as a person, though, I genuinely got to know him, and and that's what, you know, where we really connected. He, uh, he just so really was moved by the kind of person he was, and we connected on a lot of things, um, had great conversations. And, you know, I remember when he got diagnosed, I think. I remember I was driving to NFL Films to do a show, and I'd heard, and I hadn't talked to him in a couple of years. And the one thing, when I was diagnosed, I just remember, uh, I remember people always saying, ah, oh, man, I, I'm sorry I didn't call. I just didn't know what to say. And I remember, uh, um, I can't remember who it was, was telling me that, and um, or take that back, I, uh, um, I didn't know what to say either. Like, this is what happened. Okay, this is when Sam gets diagnosed. And I remember all those people saying that to me. And it kind of struck me. I'm like, you know what? It doesn't, you don't have to know what to say. You know, just knowing that you're thinking of somebody and call them up and say, listen, I don't know what to say. I just don't think of it. I mean, those things matter to me. And so I called him up and I just told him, like, Sam, I really don't have words. I just know, um, I don't know what kind of person you are. I know how you take it on. And I'm here if you need anything. I don't expect you to follow up because you got a battle and I'll, I'll be the one checking in. And I just remember he started crying. He, you know, and he told me how much he appreciated it. And I just remember how grateful I was I made that call versus hoping I'd make that call or wishing I should have made that call and then never making that call. Right. Now, when I put together my article for uh, Canal Street Chronicles about Sam Mills a couple years ago, I interviewed a lot of former players, and uh, that's one of the one of the memories that sticks out the most from everything I heard about Sam Mills was just the uh, that connection about the cancer. I didn't even put two and two together when I reached out to Merrill, but 
he was nice enough to uh, pull back the curtain and share some pretty, uh, pretty intimate details about some of the things that they went through. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a like. I would really appreciate it. Let's keep building this community. I appreciate all the love. Hoot at everybody. We'll see you on the next one.